Welcome to our 30th annual Principal for the Day Luncheon. I am your Deputy Superintendent. Yes, let's celebrate that. I am your Deputy Superintendent for Business and Operations for Brownsville ISD, and my name is Dr. Nelly Cantu. I am truly delighted and honored to join you and take part in this event. As I walked around this morning and talked to several of you, I asked, how did you do? How was your morning? I, everyone in their own way talked about how awesome it was to be principal. And some of you said, we walked in and the cheerleaders and the band were greeting us. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. That doesn't happen every day for the principals. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen every day. Some of you got pan dulce, I heard that too. Some principals don't get pan dulce all year long, so okay. So just making it clear that you understand the role of the principal, but we are so happy that you had an opportunity to see, get an inside look and wear their shoes for one day. The goal of this event, it's to build a stronger bridges, uh, bridges of communication and also to help you understand what the educator goes through on a daily basis, a principal. I wanna thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for giving up your morning from your regular schedule. I know everyone is busy and I know everyone has a lot to do. So thank you for giving up your regular schedule so you could be in our campuses and, and just experience what the principals of our schools are challenged with on our daily basis. As I walked around, I also learned that several of our principals for the days were alumni. So if you're an alumni of Brownsville, can you stand up so we can recognize you? Look around, lots of alumni from Brownsville. Thank you so much. As many of you learned this morning, our principals on a daily basis address a wide range of responsibilities. That includes, and some of us think that on, the principals only focus on reading, math, and writing. Well, let me tell you that they're responsible for accountability. The state of Texas has an accountability system, so they need to monitor that. They're also looking at their budget, which is the finance piece. And so they've got that. They also have the parent involvement. They've got transportation. They've got food and nutrition services. They've got student safety. And the list goes on and on and on. So I will tell you that their focus extends beyond just one item. They, they jump from one area to another. Over the past 30 years, when we've had this event, we estimate that there's been about 1,500 civic and business leaders, such as yourselves, that have served as guest principals. I, as I mentioned, I heard nothing but wonderful things. We enjoyed it, we had fun, and I'll tell you that, well, the one thing that stood out for me was the opportunity to, to have conversations with students. Several of you talked about that. That was the best part, that's what I heard talking to students. So I hope that you had a wonderful time this morning. I hope you enjoyed it. And from our bottom of our hearts, from Brownsville ISD and our superintendent and our school board, we sincerely thank you for the commitment that you've made to our students. At this time, I'd like to invite my colleague, Dr. Anissa Trevino, Deputy Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction and Human Resources, who's gonna help me introduce our special guest, Dr. Trevino. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Dr. Gantu. So there's lots of important people in the audience, and every single one of you I know is making a difference in our communities and in our schools. So joining us this afternoon, I'd like to start with our superintendent of schools, Dr. Rene Gutierrez. I'd like to follow by introducing our board of trustees who are with us this afternoon. They volunteer their time to make sure that BISD continues to move forward. So I'd like to start with our board president, Ms. Jessica Gonzalez. <laughs> board vice president, Mr. Carlos Elizondo. <laughs> board secretary, Ms. Minerva Peña. Board Assistant Secretary, Mr. Frank Ortiz. <laughs> Board Member, Mr. Eddie Garcia. 
board member, Ms. Denise Garza. Board member, Ms. Daniela Lopez Valdez. Some of our board members also serve today as principal of the day, so thank you very much, and they'll be recognized a little later as well. Also, we have with us our cabinet members, Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources, Ms. Carmelita Rodriguez. Mrs. Alma Cárdenas Rubio, Assistant Superintendent for Elementary Schools. Mrs. Dolores Cisneros Emerson, Administrator for Elementary Schools. Mrs. Rose Longoria, Assistant Superintendent for Middle Schools. Dr. Norma Ibarra Cantu, Administrator for Early College High Schools. And uh, Dr. Cantu said it very well that our principals work hard every day and they don't necessarily get the celebrations and the cheers every day, but we do please know that at the back, we are cheering you on every day. Will all our campus principals please stand and be recognized? And at this time, we certainly know that a lot of our principles of the day are important people out in the community. We have some dignitaries which served as principal of the day, and we will be certainly recognizing them throughout the program, but thank you. It is said well earlier, you're taking from your busy day to be able to walk in the shoes of our principals, and we're very fortunate that you all took time and at this time, please help me welcome Dr. Rene Gutierrez for some opening remarks. Oh, I'm so sorry. We will be recognize, or having Ms. Jessica Gonzalez, board president, giving you all a welcome. Hello, everyone. Uh, give me a quick second. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I'd like to thank you for giving up your precious time and busy schedule to be with us today. I truly believe our schools thrive when the entire community is involved. Anyone who does anything to help a child is a hero in my eyes. So you, my friends, are my heroes. As you all know, being a principal is a very difficult job. But our BISD principals have done an incredible job and we can't not thank them enough. Principals, may you be proud of the work that you do, the person that you are, and the difference that you make every single day. You inspire me to always do the best for our students. So don't ever forget you make a difference every single day. Today, you led the school. Tomorrow, our students will lead the world. I thank you all once again for your hard work and dedication we are lucky to have you on our team. Thank you. Good afternoon, Dr. Gutierrez, uh, Superintendent. I'd like to say, first of all, that the Super Bowl is really here. The best players, the best of the best is right here in this room. So forget about Super Bowl Sunday. The best and the finest community members that we can find anywhere is right here in this room. And I wanna thank you on behalf of the board and everyone for being part of our school system, for visiting our schools. And I hope this is not the only time that you visit our schools, but that anytime you have a chance, we welcome you. And we welcome our community so that you can see the wonderful things that are going on at every campus, at every level. And I'm sure you got to see some of that today. And by the way, if you ever want to be certified as a substitute principal, I can certify you at any time, okay? You can always, we can always certify you to, uh, to cover some, uh, at some times in our schools. But uh, I'm sure that you got to see the wonderful things that are going on. Our teachers and our students, our support staff, our cafeteria workers, our custodians, secretaries, clerks, and staff, teachers, and everyone. 
how it takes a whole group of people working together um, to build this great community that we have. And Brownsville, the city of Brownsville, the, co the county, the state, even the nation is thriving because of public education, because of what we do. And when we asked a while ago about the Brownsville alumni to stand, to stand up, you know that we've done our job and we're gonna continue to do our job because the only way this community is gonna thrive is through public education. And right now we're going through some uh, legislative uh, sessions going on in Austin. A lot of things are at stake and we need to support our representatives in our area to do the, what we can, whatever we can do to make sure that South Texas Brownsville ISD, Region 1, is not left behind anymore. We need to continue to uh, fight for our kids, for public education, and for making sure that our schools have the necessary resources to continue educating our children. Just like all of us benefited from public education, our kids and generations to come need to also benefit from, from public education. So uh, whatever we can do as, a, as community members, and I know we have uh, representatives from healthcare, law enforcement, we have judges, we have uh, private business owners, uh, we have Homeland Security, Border Patrol, all of us together um, making sure that uh, our area, South Texas, is not left behind, is not forgotten. And we're very blessed to have two new uh, representatives that I like to call on them to come up and say a few words to, to this group because they're gonna need our help. They're gonna need our voice. They're gonna need for us to be there with them so that Austin and the legislatures can see that South Texas is united in the efforts of bringing more homeland security, more for public education, more for healthcare, more for uh, roads, infrastructure, for bridges, more money down here because we deserve it like everyone else. So at this time, I would like to call on uh, our state senator, Ms. Morgan Lamantia, and our state representative, Ms. Erin Gomez, who are here. And I I'd like for them to uh, say a few words to, to all of you because it is very, very important and very, very critical what's going on right now for the next few months in, us, in Austin. And they are our representatives but they need us, they need all of us to be for them, to be with them along, along the way and express our support so that uh, we can get all the help that we can for, uh, for South Texas. So I'm gonna turn it over to, uh, to them and, and then for them to say a few words, but again, whatever we can do as a group, we're here to uh, support them and help them in Austin. Ms. Ms. Lamantia. So first I want to say, you know, Dr. Cantu and Dr. Trevino got up here and said that this is a chance for us to walk in the shoes of our principals. I will say that wasn't exactly true at Veterans because where I needed tennis shoes to keep up with the kids, Dr. Gallegos was in heels running circles around all of us. <laughs> but that just shows how much work goes into educating our kids for our principals, our teachers, our administrators, all the staff and everyone in between. And Today, you saw the pride and the joy that everyone takes in their jobs. And you saw that same pride in the students and how they talked about the education and the opportunities that were made available to them. But that doesn't come without money from the state. And that's why we're here, and that's why we're in Austin. We're there to fight for y'all so that you guys can keep doing the wonderful job you're doing now and hopefully we can get some more funds to make your lives just a little bit easier. But that's one of the big things we're looking at right now. We are fighting for education. We've got a lot of money and we're hoping it goes to education. And I, can, I know I can speak uh, on Aaron's behalf as well when I say this, we cannot do our jobs without you. Reach out to us. Tell us when there's an issue. Let us know what you need, what your priorities are. We know that not, there's not one size that fits all. Every school, every campus has unique needs, and we need to know what those are to make sure you have the resources you need to keep doing the job that y'all do so well.
Thank you so much, Senator. Thank you, Dr. Gutierrez. Um, you see that little dance that Morgan and I did before we get up here? That's definitely our, the compassionate and just excited way that we're attacking these problems together. Right? We know that we are in this fight together and that we can't do it without you. Uh, Dr. Gutierrez, you are absolutely correct when you said this is the Super Bowl. And when I sit in this room here with you all, I feel like, welcome to the NFL. You wanted to sit and you wanted to play, here we are. And uh, when I say, when Dr. Gutierrez talks about the caliber and the quality and the diversity of leadership that's in this room, I'm so proud to say that our bench is real deep, real deep. And anyone who tries to come up against us is not just facing Morgan and myself, it's our entire community. So we are so proud to know that we have each and every one of you standing behind us. And speaking of the bench, I, I want to take a moment, I'd be remiss if I didn't say that uh, our amazing board of BISD did something incredible this week, and that was start the fight early, right? Do something incredible and pass paid family leave for all of our wonder employees and administrators. Thank you. Thank you for what you did. Starting to give you the respect and, and the time that you, that you deserve is, is just the beginning. Well, I know that it's 2023 and I know I speak on behalf of Senator Lamanti and myself when I say that your leadership at every level is in tune, in touch, and on the same page. And when we work like this, when we work as a team, that's when real progress happens in the community. I had an amazing day today at Pulham Elementary with Principal Marquez and uh, I do, I know, I, I, I stand with a lot of you when I say I wish every time I opened my office door at the Capitol that that's how I was greeted. It was videotaped and passed on to my staff and they're required to take instructions to do so. Because <laughs> when my energy's up, our energy's up. So, but he said something today that really struck me. Uh, he said, Aaron, you know, Pullum is an exemplary institution and I, I'm humbled to be here. You know, I'm humbled to be here, but I know that it, my leadership style is do everything I can to get an amazing team, do everything I can to give them the tools that they need to thrive, and then stay out of their way. That's incredible, right? Don't micromanage. I know I feel the same way, but Morgan and I and your representatives are here to do everything we can to give you the tools you need to survive. Because I know I'm preaching to the choir when I say that public education in a community is the foundation and the bedrock for success. When Morgan and I go out and talk about infrastructure dollars, economic development, attracting future families and communities, the first thing they want to know is, do you have running water and light? And secondly, how good is your public education system if I'm going to bring and move my family down here? And I'm so proud to say, amazing. Blue Ribbon Schools, stellar ratings, we are amazing. And I'm so proud and blessed to be that voice for Cameron County along with Senator Amantia, to tell the rest of the world that South Texas is on the brink of greatness, and South Texas is ready to feed the workforce and the needs of the rest of the entire state of Texas. And just know that the same way we told you last year and the year before that, in us, you have two fierce leaders who are ready to preserve, protect, and defend public institutions and public education in South Texas. Thank you. As you can see, we have great representation in Austin. Now it's just the rest of us joining them. And um, there's a lot of monies and funds that they have in Austin. 33 billion with a B, it's out there. And some of that, we need that piece of the pie to come down here. So whatever we can do to improve, to make our, our city, our county, our school district better, and we have the full support of the board all of you, the community members, as well as educators, joining together, joining hands uh, for these uh, efforts to make our community better is, um, is something that we all need to take a responsibility and be a part of. So thank you so much for uh, being part of our uh, school district, for being part of this uh, principal of the day. And, uh, and again, um, our doors are always open and um, our kids and our staff love you for what you do. Thank you so much. Thank you, 
Ms. Erin Gomez and Ms. Morgan Lamantia. May we give them one more round of applause? <laughs> I want to say that these two ladies stand side by side with our superintendent and our board in supporting our district and many districts to make sure that, you know, when they describe them as fearless, I will have to agree. They are fearless leaders. They're, thank you for the work that you're doing to help us. At this time, we're going to take a short intermission. I see the meals are being delivered, uh, and we want you to continue your lunch and enjoy your meal. We'll be back shortly, and we'll continue the program this afternoon. Principals for the day are BISD principals, our honored guest, our board, our superintendent. It's been about 15 minutes, and some of you got your meal. That's about the time a principal has for lunch. <laughs> I am kidding, I am kidding. We, we treat our guests a little better than that. So what I'd like to do is, first of all, ask you to continue your meal. If you're in, you know, you receive your meal and please continue. But we're gonna move forward because we know that everyone here has a busy schedule. So I'd like to welcome you back to the presentation. We're gonna now move forward and we're gonna continue with our program. At this time, we're gonna have the area assistant superintendents uh, introduce the guest for each campus, for each campus. So at this time, I'd like to welcome to the podium is Al Alma Cárdenas Rubio, who's going to begin the recognition of our elementary campus principals. Ms. Rubio, welcome. I know who is the elementary principal of the day for two reasons. You came in here smiling. And number two, you look the same as when you started this morning. So thank you so much for letting me honor this. As a product of BISD, I am very proud to be here to make these announcements. We will start off with Bruce Aiken Elementary, Principal of the Day, our proud Board Vice President, Mr. Carlos A. Elizondo. From AX Benavides Elementary, our Principal for the Day, Alejandro Martinez. He is our Supervisory Patrol Agent, also Department of Homeland Security, U.S. Border Patrol. From Danielle Breeden Elementary, our principal of the day is Dr. Rick Verial, our dentist and also owner of Verial Dental. From Ben Bright Elementary, our principal of the day is Lope Perez III, insurance broker, Perez Financial Group. Our principal of the day for Josephine Castaneda Elementary, this is our proud board member, Daniela Lopez Valdez and also Executive Director of the Mid Culture District. Our Principal of the Day for Comec Elementary is Maribel Quiroz, our retired educator. Thank you. From Rosita del Castillo Elementary, our proud retired Assistant Superintendent, Mrs. Rachel Ayala. Thank you. A proud Principal for the Day from Thomas Keller Elementary, Ray Castaneda, owner of the Raymond's Wrecker Service. Also a proud parent, thank you. Robert Martin Elementary, principal of the day, Mrs. Our Reverend Celia Halfshore. Say that again. Half Acre, using a mnemonic device, Half Acre, from First United Methodist Church, Brownsville. Our principal of the day for our U.S. Congressman Salomon Ortiz, our proud Congressman Salomon Ortiz, retired. <laughs> From our Pullum Elementary, our proud, proud principal of the day is Erin Elizabeth Gomez, our state representative, District 38, and also attorney at a law. From Russell Elementary, our proud principal of the day is our Honorable Judge Benjamin Oreste Jr., Cameron County, 107th District Court. Our Sharp Elementary principal of the day, Mr. Jeremy Burrow, our Supervisor Special Agent from Department of Homeland Security. Southmost Elementary principal of the day is Emmanuel Velez. Warrant Officer of City of Brownsville and owner of the Velez Construction Company. Our principal for the day at Vermilion Elementary is Carlos Eloy Cordova, 
Deputy Constable, Precinct Number 5, Cameron County, and also Commissioner of the City of Combs. Our principal for the day at Villanueva Elementary is our proud judge, Estela Chavez Vasquez, for Cameron County, Court at Law Number 5. Our principal for the day at Yuturi Elementary is Gabriel Recio, police officer for the Valley International Airport. Thank you very much for this moment. And now I would like to call on to Dolores Emerson, who will be introducing our next principal of the days. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you all are enjoying your meals. We will start with Burns Elementary. Principal Julie Garcia, Principal for the Day, Yolanda Parra, General Consul, Consul General from the U.S. Consulate in Matamoros. <clears throat> J.T. Canales Elementary, Principal Mirta Garza, Principal for the Day, Arnold Gomez, Club Manager from Sam's Club Harlingen. A.A. Champion Elementary, Principal Ricardo Tor Torres, Jr., Principal for the Day, Michael J. Limas, Financial Advisor, Michael J. Limas and Associates. Egli Elementary, Principal Pedro Vidal, representing him is Ms. Santos Recio, Principal for the Day, Kevin Michael Montes, General Sales Manager, Toyota Brownsville. El Jardin Elementary, Principal Leticia Briones, Principal for the Day, Frank Ortiz, Brownsville BISD Board Assistant Secretary, Retired BISD Administrator, and Professor for UTRGV. For Dr. Ruben Gallegos Elementary, Principal Teresa Villafuerte, and Principal for the Day, Roberto Valencia, Architect. 692 Cantabria Construction Company. Garden Park Elementary. Principal Cesar Murillo. Principal for the day, Judge Adela Kowalski Garza, 484th District Court. <laughs> Judge Reynaldo G. Garza Elementary. Principal Lorena Medina. Principal for the day, Jaime Garcia, Realtor for Sabaleta Realty. <clears throat> Mariano Gonzalez Elementary, Principal, Billy Cobos. Principal for the day, Ninfa Zavala, Retired School Administrator from Brownsville Independent School District. <clears throat> Hubert R. Hudson Elementary, Principal, Dr. Melinda Lopez, Principal for the Day, Omar Juarez, Professional Boxer. <laughs> Morningside Elementary, Principal Yvonne Barnes, Principal for the Day, Lizette McName, Student Development Specialist for U the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. <laughs> Palm Grove Elementary, Principal Patricia Chacon, Principal for the Day, Jarrett Sheldon, Fire Chief for the Brownsville Fire Department. <laughs> Dr. Américo Paredes Elementary, Principal Felipe Barrera, Principal for the Day, John Edge, General Manager, Luke Fria Motors. <laughs> Raquel Peña Elementary, Principal Yolanda Turbeville, Principal for the Day, Francisco Barrera, Investigator and Mental Health Officer, Brownsville Police Department. Felipe Perez Elementary, Principal Michael Moreno, Principal for the Day, Edith A. Flores, Retired Educator from the Brownsville Independent School District. Annie S. Pugnet Elementary, Principal Dr. Aide Vasquez, Principal for the Day, Maria Rosa Garcia, Retired Ad Administrator from the Brownsville Independent School District. 
And last and not least for elementary, for Skinner Elementary, Principal Mary E. Rodriguez, Principal for the day, Judge Noemi Garcia Martinez, residing municipal court for the city of Harlingen. I would now like to introduce Mrs. Rose Longoria, Assistant Superintendent for the middle schools who will be presenting the middle school principals for the day. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Dolores Emerson. Good afternoon, everybody. It is with much pride and joy that I present the amazing middle school principals together with their principals for a day. From Raul Bestero Middle School, Mr. Principal, Ms. Teresa Nunez. However, Mr. Doug Toman is here representing today and their principal for a day, Alberto Alegria, president from Texas Valley Educators Association. If you would please stand. Thank you, TVEA. From Falk Middle School, principal, if you would please stand, Benita Villarreal, together with their principal for a day, Mr. George Cavito, CEO OP 10.33. From Juliet Garcia Middle School, principal, Mr. Luis Segura, principal for the day, Dr. Juliet Garcia, Professor UTRGV, Department of Communications. She was not able to make the luncheon, but she did spend the morning with the middle school. Thank you. From Senator Eddie A. Lucio, Jr., Middle School, Principal, Mr. Chester Arismendi, and Principal for a Day, Olber Robledo, Pastor, Iglesia Bautista, Oreb. From Manzano Middle School, Principal Marisol Trevino, Principal for the Day, Mr. Eric Garza, Sheriff, Cameron County. Yay. From Oliveira Middle School, Principal Ms. Marta Medina, Principal for the Day, Minerva Peña, Board Secretary, Brownsville ISD. From Perkins Middle School, Principal Esmeralda Longoria, guest principal Karen Bencourt, assistant U.S. Attorney, Office Southern District of Texas, Brownsville. From Stell Middle School, principal Mr. Obelial, principal for the day, Judge Adolfo Cordova from Willisie County, 197th District Court. From Stillman Middle School, principal Mr. E.J. Martinez, principal for the day, Mr. Michael Ramirez, owner of Sweet Notes Baking Company. <laughs> Last but not least, from Vela Middle School, principal, Ms. Michelle Garcia, principal for the day, Judge Gabriela Garcia, Cameron County, 138th District Court. <laughs> Thank you so much for your service and now would like to wel help me welcome Dr. Nick to the podium. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. It's definitely an honor to introduce the principals of the Ellery College High Schools and the programs and also the principal for the day. We will begin with the Brownsville Early College High School with principal Dr. Rachel Ayala and the guest principal is Hector Savala owner and operator of Morning's, uh, Main Street Deli and Morning Glory. We got some cheers there. Next we have Homer Hanna Early College High School Principal Blanca Lambari. And we have uh, Principal for the Day Jim Tipton, President of Tipton Mortars. <laughs> Next we have Lopez Early College High School Principal Amy Garza Limon. And we have Mark A. Lipa, Acting Deputy Special Agent in Charge, Department of Homeland Security. <laughs> Next, we have James Pace, Early College High School, Principal jo Joel Wood. And we have Dr. Joseph Fleshman, Associate Vice President of Workforce Training, Texas Southmost College. Gladys Porter Early College High School Principal, Mary Solis. And, 
And with us, we have Gloria Chavez, Chief Patrol Agent, Department of Homeland Security, U.S. Border Patrol. Simon Rivera, Early College High School, Principal Norma Canales. And we have Roy de los Santos with us today from is Commissioner District 3, City of Brownsville, Business Manager at at t Next, we have Veterans Memorial Early College High School Principal, Dr. Linda Gallegos. And with us today, we have Morgan Lamantia, Texas State Senator, District 37. Next, we have Brownsville Academic Center. We have Principal Hector Hernandez, and we have Graciela Talin Asinich, and she is the retired educator for Brownsville ISD. Back. <laughs> Brownsville Learning Academy High School. We have Dr. Edward Udi and principal for the day, Tim Ramirez, retired educator, Brownsville Independent School District. <laughs> Next, we have Brownsville Learning Academy Middle School. Principal Noe Garcia, and we have Edward G. Perez, Chief CBP Field Operations and Trade Operations Officer, Department of Homeland Security. <laughs> Last, we have Lincoln Park School, Principal Cynthia Cardenas, and Principal for the Day, John Cowan Jr., Commissioner at Large A, City of Brownsville. Thank you. We, next, we have Dr. Cantu. Thank you, Dr. Norma Ibarra Cantu, for introducing our high school, our early college high school guests. I would also like to th thank Ms. Rose Longoria, our assistant superintendent for middle schools, for introducing the middle school. And for the elementary schools, uh, thank you, Ms. Alma Cardenas Rubio and Ms. Dolores Cisneros Emerson. It is the mission of the Brownsville Independent School District to graduate students who are prepared to excel in higher education and successfully pursue career opportunities. By being a principal for the day, you become a part of that formula. Someone mentioned earlier that it takes a village. And I know that it may be a little bit cliche-ish, but it does take a village to get these students not only to be successful in school, but in life. Your princess at our campuses today sends a strong and positive message to our students and employees. We hope that each principal for a day had a rewarding experience, one that helped, them, helped to strengthen your understanding of the Brownsville ISD students, personnel, and programs. We thank all our 2023 guest principals. Will you please stand up so that we may recognize you one more time. Guest principals, please stand up. Thank you, you may be seated. There's a lot of cheering in the room. I think people want you back. <laughs> We extend an invitation to you to continue to be involved in supporting our students and our schools. I know that the morning went by very quickly, but let me repeat, we extend the invitation for the entire school year and next year. Before we conclude our program, I would also like to thank Library and Media Services who are recording this event. Thank you guys. The Maintenance Department for helping us set up, Police and Security Services for keeping us safe, KBSD is here in the house, and thank you for recording this so that we can air it later in social media. And of course, I'd like to recognize our public relations and community engagement uh, staff directed under the direction of Mr. Jason Moody. I don't know where he's at, somewhere. This concludes our program, but we know some of you are still enjoying your meal. Please finish your meal. We're not gonna run you out. And uh, we thank you for supporting our mission, we hope you had a wonderful day today, and may you continue to be our partners as we move forward throughout the school year. Thank you so much.